Hey, it's the French student here, and today we're going to be talking about circular arrays. So, a circular array is a different way of using a normal array, which means, it creates some pictures, which means we're able to, instead of a normal array where we just go index, index 0, index 1, index 3, index 4, index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, and that's it, then in a circular array, we're able to continue by going 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so on, by using this formula, which is the circular index equals the index modulus the length. So, how that works is that when we add, let's just give an example, it's actually pretty easy when you just see it. So, when doing a normal 4i loop, then this is our initial position. So, instead of starting from index 0, let's start at index 2, for example. So we go index 0, index 1, index 2. So we start at C. And we would continue. Let's just do a few times. So 7. So we'll go for index 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Which means normally if we just do print our array, add letters i. If we just run it like this we get a exception, which is we print C, we print D, and we get an index array out of bounds exception. So instead of just doing a letters I, we would do letters index modulus the length. So first of all, we would create another variable, which is end n, which equals the letters dot, letters dot length. So that's our length variable. So we do i modulus n, which means when we hit 4, so index 0, index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, 4 modulus 4 will equal 0. And then again, 5 modulus 4 equal 1, and so on. And by doing this, we're able to keep going. Oh, let's add a spacing and let's not do print line let's just print it that's actually easier to see so we go c d and then back to a b c and we can keep going if just add this up a bit so like 15 so now we'll be going through it 13 times so we got c d a b c d a b and we just continue circular in a circular motion so that's the basic of a circular array. By using this circular form formula, we are able to get the index for the circular array. So that's the basics of the circular array. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful day.